Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be addressing a lot of the comments that I get about whether I do readings for all the other signs and I'm gonna explain why I'm not doing that anymore or like why I don't read for the other signs, why it is just Virgo. I mean, on top of the fact that I am a Virgo, I'm a Virgo, Sun, Capricorn, Moon, Sag rising, Leo, Venus. I got pretty much a little bit of all the signs in my chart but here's the thing um if you resonate with my messages like that's kind of really all that matters because when it comes to astrology as a like professional astrologer we have all the signs in our chart okay like from our ascendant every sign rules over some specific area of our life if you've ever have your had your birth chart read like each sign influences us. So we are a compilation of all the signs. Now, the signs that you have your planets in um, adds like further emphasis to that chart. But like my Virgo sun is in the 10th house. The 10th house is a normal Capricorn house. So it's going to be likely that a lot of my, um, like I resonate with Capricorn readings. I resonate with, I resonate with anything. If like the message the title, it feels like it's like that. It's a Virgo reading, but that sounds like it's me. Um, this is why I've kind of migrated to more collective readings anyways. And one, because like of the time, the time and energy it takes me to film all of the signs to really only get like 200 views on it. I know like it's not about the views, but my Virgo community has really been so loyal and so committed to me. And most of the time, if you resonate with my messages, you're going to resonate with the Virgo readings. You're going to resonate with the collective readings. So it's like, I know a lot of people watch me for the signs, but you really have to understand um, that I've been doing this since 2018. And for a while there, I was releasing like every single week, all the signs and it's a lot of it's a lot of work and something happened in the YouTube algorithm um, where one day like I just stopped getting getting views or I took a break and then from there like I burnt myself out doing all 12 zodiac signs all the time and mind you like I have other avenues of like businesses that I'm doing or like as I go evolving in my life you know like I'm not just always going to want to do zodiac sign readings you know and I feel like when I started this channel I was like heavily into the tarot like I would I would watch tarot readings all the time and then there was a time where I evolved my content or or I evolved my taste for tarot into pick a card readings, right? Like I would watch pick a card readings, but here I am still doing Zodiac readings. And now maybe I'm at the stage where I really don't watch that much tarot and I'm like more manifestation content. And here's the thing, like I want to be genuine and authentic with all of you. And that's why you see me trying to evolve my content into the stuff that I would consume and I would watch. And I realized like I could lose a lot of subscribers doing that because I know a lot of people want to um, watch the Zodiac sign readings for their Zodiac signs. And, um, you know, I get it, I get it. But I also have learned in this journey that I have to do what makes me happy, what makes me mentally sane, mentally healthy. Like I have to protect my mental health. Um, and when I was doing all the Zodiac readings, like maybe I was really successful on the channel, but I just was so burnt out. I was so um, stressed out, burnt out. And the the method that I have now is so much more conducive for my mental health, for my happiness. And I realized in that, that I could lose a lot of subscribers and that's okay. <laughs> I've learned that that's okay. Those probably aren't the people who are um, caring about my mental health, you know? So if like they're not going to, and I'm not doing it, or if I'm trying to make those people happy, then um, my mental health will struggle and nobody is going to give a damn about it but me. Um, but I have such amazing subscribers on this channel and like 
I am so loyal and committed to creating content. And I really want you to know that I don't do it from a place. Like I don't evolve, I evolve my content because this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm successful doing. And at the end of the day, like I love you guys so much. Like my diehards, my people who are here, who are so, you know, supportive and loyal to me throughout the years, I love you guys so much that I want to see you succeed. I want to see you, if I'm winning, like I want you to win too. Like if I'm doing finding success and finding happiness, I want you to find that success and happiness too. So I'm always going to keep you in the loop of what I'm doing on my journey that's helping me. And sometimes, sometimes consuming tarot you know, it's fun if it's for entertainment purposes. And it's fun if you're looking at it from a standpoint of like, I at the end of the day am the creator of my reality. I choose where I send energy and focus to. So if I'm watching a tarot reading that's triggering me, that's a reflection of something that's happening in my subconscious that I can or can't give energy to. But I don't want to create an environment where you guys are dependent on me or my readings to give you guidance or clarity in a situation because I've been there. You guys, I am at the end of the day, one of you, okay? And that's why you see me having like a tarot course because I'm like, you can do what I do. That's why you see me put up the 21 day challenge because again, these are all the things that I'm doing to find success, happiness in my life living my best life, right? I want you guys to live your best life. When I was spiraling down um, the tarot thing of like every day needing to watch a tarot video to feel like good or to feel validated in what I like feel about a person or what's going on in my life, that wasn't healthy. That wasn't healthy. And I don't ever want to create that environment for anybody else, right? Um, and I really, I really do, like, I do love you guys so much, but I also have to take into consideration myself and filming 12 videos all the time. It's very strenuous on me. And also it's like, you know, I have other things to do. I think when I first started YouTube, um, I was, I was like the support that I was getting and like the income that I was getting definitely was, you know, solidifying that, but, um, or like, so like, but it wasn't worth it. It just, at the end of the day, it wasn't worth it to me, even though it was like, okay, I'm doing really well financially right now. It's not, it's not maintaining and I have to do resort to other outlets for income and things like that. Um, so I don't have all the time in the world. And that's, that's the reason why you're not seeing these things. But I promise you, if you resonate with my messages, the collective readings are going to resonate with you. Um, so if you're really, really, really like you are my tarot reader, I need a reading from you, then don't be afraid of collective readings just because of the fact that it doesn't say like Capricorn or Aquarius or Pisces or one of the zodiac signs because I promise you if you if you feel that way about me if you're like every time you read it feels so accurate then whatever video you watch from me is still going to feel accurate okay and if it doesn't that means we're not matched anymore <laughs> and and that could be a good thing okay it's so sad but it could be a good thing that you know you're evolving past whatever content or messages that i'm putting out and maybe you're going to find somebody else who you resonate with right this is like a breakup you know um but I would obviously like everybody's welcome on my channel and I just wanted to clear that up because I do get a lot of comments of why do you not do the other signs and I figured even though I make posts about it or I do like the little community post for it maybe more people will watch the video and that way you can know exactly why that is the case so um, that was just a quick little update and I hope that you guys will continue 
to support the channel or continue to evolve with me and grow. Um, and yeah, like, let's keep winning together. I, y you guys are all on my team. So if I'm winning, I want y'all to win too. So um, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye.